Hello again, Grizzly football fans. We're back with another edition of Grizz Tracks, which means there is another week to the season as the Grizzlies are heading into the playoffs. I'm AJ Mazzolini here of the Missoulian. And I'm Bill Speltz. I cover the Grizz football team for the Missoulian. And the Grizzlies pulled a home game this week on Saturday in the first round of the FCS playoffs against San Diego. And the reason for that really is the whooping that they put on the Cats last weekend, so we'll begin there. Uh, really a one-sided matchup. Grizzly pulled that one out 34-7, and it really could have been more. Definitely. Things couldn't have worked out better. Uh, the, the defense played terrific for us in the seven turnovers. The offense clicked early, which is something that uh, hasn't happened in the past, and right. it's something that will really be nice if they can continue to do going forward. Yeah, and really is the seven turnovers were kind of the story of that game. It just seemed like every time the Bobcats were getting the ball, they just couldn't hang on to it. Uh, Jake Bleskin there, quarterback starting for Dakota Prukup, was credited with just about all of those, really. Yeah, AJ, and I thought one of the most important questions in the press conference, uh, it was posed to Montana State's coach, was why did you leave Jake in so long? Yeah. I mean, he was having a bad day. You felt for the guy. Uh, maybe Coach Ash felt like his, his third-string guy uh, just wasn't capable, and obviously their starting quarterback, Dakota Prukup, is still suffering from a mm -hmm. knee injury, so it'll be interesting to see if he plays in their playoff game this this uh, Saturday. Yeah, that's right. They have a home playoff game as well. So two more games going on in Montana for this week. Uh, the Grizzlies will be going against San Diego, a team out of the Pioneer League, which is kind of a bizarre league and a non-scholarship league. So an interesting foe coming in this week. Right. I mean, they've got an impressive record, 9-2, and two, but you just don't know what to make of them. They, they play in a league with uh, teams that you, you, you never heard of, or maybe you've heard of some of them, Drake and Stetson, Princeton, you, we've heard of from basketball. Right. I mean, a lot of basketball schools really in that conference. Dayton, another one as well. Uh, exactly, yeah. So I don't know what that means, but it, it, in talking with their coach this morning, they're just uh, not used to Montana's side, mm -hmm. size and speed, so that's going to be a, a challenge for them. Last week they played a Big Sky Conference team, Cal Poly, and lost 35-3, to and Cal Poly's starting quarterback didn't play in the second half. Yikes. I mean, the Grizzlies did get beat up a little bit by Cal Poly as well, but i got to imagine that the San Diego boys aren't really used to facing this level of competition, especially when they're going to be coming in on the road in Washington Grizzly Stadium, playoff atmosphere, and all of that jazz. Definitely. The, their coach was telling me that they just they don't see this kind of a, of a crowd for a game, so they're really excited about coming to, to Missoula and, and playing in front of 25,000, mm -hmm. 26,000 fans. Yeah, and that being said, they do have, at least appear to have a couple pretty good athletes. What do we know about the guys they actually have on the field? Well, they have a running back who has close to 2,000 yards, a player by the name of Jonah Hodges. Mm -hmm. So numbers-wise, you got to like that. And then their quarterback, uh, Keith Williams, has thrown for almost as many yards as Jordan Johnson. He's about as effective uh, his, his completion percentage. So numbers-wise, you, you got to respect what they've done. Yeah, numbers-wise, they, they had something. And uh, they'll be going against a Grizzly defense that... Really, it's got to have a huge boost of confidence. What, what a resurgence for, for them last week, uh, and all of a sudden, they, I think they're licking their chops heading into the playoffs. Most definitely. It's, it's, the main thing is that they just need to focus early, and, and uh, I think they'll have success against San Diego, and then it'll come down to a week later uh, in Cheney against Eastern Washington. Yeah, a likely matchup if the Grizzlies can get through this first round. They are faced up with another Big Sky foe, uh, the way the bracket works out with Eastern Washington which drew one of those uh, first-round buys, and they'll be having a few home games uh, if they can keep on winning. But first off, we've got to get to, uh, get to the San Diego game. Uh, Grizzlies have to take care of business that game. That is Saturday here in Missoula. A 2 p.m. kickoff can be seen on ESPN3, I believe, right? That's correct. Yeah, and make sure to keep up with the Grizz all week long in the Missoulian as we prepare for the playoff stretch. And on Missoulian.com, and we'll be back with another edition of Grizz Tracks next week to let you know how it went. Thanks for tuning in.